It's a dangerous world full of pathogenic germs, viruses and fungi and bacteria and worms. They're trying to invade you, to them your food and shelter, and once they get inside it sends your system help to skelter. But you've got a system for fighting back, for recovering your health from infectious attack. With weapons that leave these pathogens are ruined. Yeah, we're talking about the system that makes us immune. It's the immune system. Sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens. I've tried to infect you. Three layers of defense keep the germs away. Letting us live yet another day. Skin and mucous members first, then innate defenses. For fending off invaders that breach our fences. Then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T. Let's learn about immunity. Our outermost defense is our impermeable skin, dead outer cells lined with fibrous keratin, covered with secreted lactic acid and lysozyme, a bacteria dissolving enzyme. At openings like noses, there's a mucous membrane lining, a viscous protein fluid trap of pathogen confining, and pathogens that enter through our mouth can die quite miserably when they're dissolved inside our stomach's sour acidity. But even with these barriers, some pathogens break through, entering through cuts or riding mucus into you. The next of in defense is not specific in innate. We share it with the plants and fungi and in Vertebrates. You're born with these defenses, that's why they're called innate. They're implemented when infection starts, no need to wait. They consist of cells and proteins that make non specific moves against those foreign entities that enter into you. The primary components here are white blood cells, sentinels or guards who respond when all's not well. The leukocytes, they fight invaders in generic ways, engulfing them or chemically blowing them away. It's the immune system, sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens. I try to infect you, three layers of defense keep the germs away. Letting us live. Yet another day. Skin and mucous membranes first, then innate defenses. For fending off invaders that breach our fences. Then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T. Let's learn about immunity. Inflammation's a key part of the innate response. You know it from the swelling and the way a wound feels hot. Tissue damage from infections or injuries causes leukocytes like mast cells to release histamines, which makes capillaries leak through vasodilation, leads to redness and to swelling and a painful sensation. Sentinel cells and tissues emit chemical alarms that draw defenders to the scene defending us from harm. The first cell to arrive could be a neutrophil, the most abundant type of white blood cell. They are phagocytes, engulfing viruses and germs, devouring pathogens like robins eating worms. These neutrophils gorge themselves until they die defending us. The cellular remains accumulate as pus. Innate responses to anything but simple. Remember that each time you see the pus inside a pimple, another phagocyte is called a macrophage, which means big eater they attack with rage. Dendritic cells are phagocytes too, patrolling beneath the skin and in the lungs and other tissues. A fever is a body-wide systemic inflammation. The higher temperature inhibits germ replication and might also enhance immune cell phagocytic action as fever ramps up our body's chemical reactions. It's the immune system sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens to try to infect you. Three layers of defense keep the germs away. Letting us live yet another day. Skin and mucous membranes first, then innate defenses. For fending off invaders that breach our fences. Then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T. Let's learn about immunity. Natural killer cells are also on the innate team detecting body cells that display abnormal proteins indicating viral, infection, or cancer. And when they meet abnormal cells, here's a deadly answer. These killers release perforins that perforate the holes in infected cells' membranes, making them explode, along with secretion of deadly granzymes that induce infected cells to commit suicide. Even the infected cells try to do their part, secreting interferons, proteins that make it hard for viruses to penetrate the cell membranes of uninfected nearby cells, which keeps them in the game. Complements another part of innate immunity. It's made of 30 proteins that work as a community to open holes in membranes of invading bacteria, destroying them and clearing out infection from that area. Now that's innate immunity, part one of our song. So join us in Immune Part 2 so you can sing along as we learn about defenses acquired and specific. Immunity, it's really terrific. It's the immune system sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens to try to infect you. Three layers of defense keep the germs away. Letting us live yet another day. Skin and mucous membranes first, then innate defenses. For fending off invaders that breach our fences. Then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T. Let's learn about immunity.
Hi, this is Mr. W. Thanks so much for watching this video about the immune system. What I'd like you to do now is head over to my website, www.sciencemusicvideos.com, where you'll see all kinds of interactive media that will help you really learn deeply about the immune system and how it works. In addition, there are links so that you can buy MP3s of this song on iTunes or on Amazon, and there's a donate button, and I hope that you'll consider supporting me so that I can continue this work. Thanks so much, and thanks for supporting Science Music Videos.